Grandma's Glasses by Rohini Nilakani at Storyweaver. Nanny keeps losing her glasses. Where did I keep them? She always asks. Without her glasses, she cannot find her glasses. So she needs me to be her eyes to find her own eyes. Sometimes her spectacles are in the bathroom or on her bed. Or on her head. Nanny, I say, they are on your head. Of course, how silly of me. Thank you, Risha, dear, she says with a giggle. This time, though, I cannot find Nanny's glasses. Not yet. I have looked everywhere, in all the usual places on her head, in the bathroom, inside her cupboard, and on the puja shelf. I have looked under her favourite chair and on the dining table. Nothing. No glasses. Where could they be? I decided to be a good detective. I decided to find out what she had done all day. I did nothing much today, except that Vina's mother in law came, you know, and how much she gossips. We had many cups of tea. And she ate all the ladoos your mother had made, said Nanny. Raju said, Nanny was very busy today. She wrote a letter to the chief minister about her pension. Amma said, She spoke for a long time to your Massey. She finished knitting the sweater for Raju and then she went for a short walk. I now had many clues. I quickly looked around new places in the house. Aha! I have found the missing glasses. The spectacles were wrapped in wool, kept next to her pen, under the phone, on her desk. And I found a half eaten ladoo there as well. For Nanny's next birthday, I will save money for an extra pair of glasses. The end. Thank you for reading with Storyberries.com. Free stories for kids. <laughs>